All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, I got distracted by quite a few locks that I bought recently um, and whatnot. I have a lot of videos lined up, but in this video, I want to go over one lock in particular. Oh, it's right here. Um, we did the Master 532 in my last video, so uh, we're going to go over the 570. This master can definitely be quite a challenge, just like the uh, 532. Um, now, the 570, if you have the correct version, and I'm going to er, go into detail here in about 10 seconds about what I mean. Um, the, five, the, the 570 I'm referring to is what they call a dead core. Um, the shackle has no spring tension. So if I can find the proper key, I can demonstrate. So, I believe this is the key. Okay. So, what that means, here's the bidding, because this is the one we're going to be picking. It's definitely not bad again for a master. You got that low, high, still high, come back down low a little bit. Not, not as good as the bidding on the 532 that I had. But, what this means, with, with the dead core that I refer to means, the shackle, is, the shackle has no spring tension. So, when you turn your key and unlock it what did you notice that didn't happen this guy didn't pop open on his own there is no spring you know tension forcing it to open upon being unlocked so the that means that the core you know when you're going to put tension on it you, there's no pressure you know there's no tension obviously so it could definitely be a challenge this will definitely be a good um, lock to uh, start to pick. You should probably start with this before the 532 um, because this will help you learn tensioning a lot better. Now, I said there's two versions because the first one I bought on eBay, um, I bought this other one at a Sears and it was in the normal master packaging. This 570, when I ordered it on eBay, it was in the uh, construction contractor package if you've ever seen them. And I don't know if that's why, but this one does pop open, and that's not what I want. Um, and it's not key retaining. The other one's key retaining, so just be careful when you're out there and you're going to um, buy it. I don't know how to tell the difference. Um, I do know that this one has a longer shackle, but they are both... They are both, if you read it, or read it, oh yeah, read it, they both say 570. I've seen this one at some Home Depots, and it has the longer shackle also. Um, I would definitely recommend going with that version. I think this just is because, it's like this because it is the contractor version. I don't know if that's even a true thing, that's just my guess. So, um, but here's the bidding for that one. It definitely, definitely is some nice bidding. And this says 11 on the key. The other one says 12. So that, that might be why. I don't know. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and get this thing picked. Unlocked. Drop it back in. It's locked. Now remember, um, we have gained a few subscribers. Um, I am still going to do the giveaway. I'm going to link the eBay, my eBay site so you can see the practice lock that you can win if you want to win a beginner's practice lock 5 pin. And what I might do, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I got a 6 pin that I was going to turn into practice lock. I got 2 of them that I was going to start selling. I might give away a 6 pin and a 5 pin. I don't know. It's going to be, no, you know what? It's going to be the 5 pin practice slot because I don't know about this for sure. Um, so yeah, six or 5 pin practice slot. As soon as we hit 4 subscribers, I will pick 2 random winners. And you will get everything in, that you see in the eBay listing. Security pins, you'll get T-pins, extra springs, serrated pins, spool pins, regular drivers, regular key pins, a working key. I believe I said extra springs already. And I'll ship it to you. You won't have to pay a cent. Alright, let's see if we can't get this picked on camera. This one wants to be a pain. 
I am going to use bottom of the keyway. Now there are spools, four spools, one standard. This lock is definitely a troublemaker, so here we go. God, man, trying to use bottom of the keyway is terrible. Light tension, definitely light tension when you're um, picking this lock. Full set. That was. I'm gonna have to use top of the keyway. It's it's not cooperating. All right, here we go. Looking for that first binding pin. Stupid tension wrench fell out. I'm telling you, this log is a challenge. Practice and practice and practice on it. It will definitely pay off for you in the end. Just changing picks here, that's all.
Okay. I'm going to change up and go bottom of the keyway one more time. Again, bottom of the keyway, different tension wrench, that's all. Like I said, it can definitely be tricky. Alright, let me go ahead and retry that. Restart it. Alright, top of the QA one more time. Fingers being a stubborn little mule. Oh my goodness, guys. Alright, let me go ahead and try bottom of the keyboard. Okay, that's not going to work. And we got it. Now that was a pain. I'm sorry it took so long. It, it's very sensitive. It will definitely help you on your attention. So now you see it's unlocked, right? We got it unlocked. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Ooh, turn this flashback on. Alright. 
you'll notice it's still unlocked. So, the shackle is still closed, like I said. You'll have to actually lift open, and it's still in the unlocked position. Yeah. Obviously, there's no key. This is a key, a key retaining lock. So there you go, Master 570. Get this version. I'm not going to waste the time picking this one because it picks differently because there is spring tension. It still has spool pins in it. Still, you know, if you come across it, obviously, you're not shit out of luck, but definitely go for this. We'll go ahead and lock it back up because it is still in unlocked position. Alright, guys. So if you like this, please subscribe, um, drop a like, leave a comment, anything you want to see. I have plenty of locks that I ordered. Um, I have an American Series 2000, which is the puck lock. Um, I got an Ace 50mm padlock that has spools in it. I just got all these yesterday from the hardware. Wilson Bohannon that came in the mail from eBay. I picked it once off camera. Tried to make a video, and boy, I sat here for 20 minutes. Um, got the Ace version of the... American padlock, a very nice lock. Ace does a great job. I'm actually very pleased with him. And we have Multi Lock Junior on its way. I got best locks coming. Um, we still got to go through the rest of the masters and whatnot. But so thank you for watching. If you like this, please. I already said all that. If you want a chance to win one of the two practice locks, please subscribe. We need 18 more subscribers, and I will do the giveaway. I think we're at 22. We need 40. All right, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. I believe we're going to do the Master Pro series, and that'll kind of top off the little range of Master Locks, you know, to from easy to, you know, the one of the better ends that you'll get for the Master, so at least that's how I'm doing it, so. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, drop a like, anything you want to see, let me know. And uh, remember, 40 subscribers, two practice locks for the next giveaway. Alright.